Professor, what do you think <laughs> of how Afghanistan approached this game? Because there was a lot of talk on pressure, on histories, on rivalries, on the context. And seeing that they have never defeated Australia ever before in a World Cup, to do that and to do it so convincingly, what are your takeaways from the manner in which Afghanistan Well, there's it? no doubt it was an uphill task for them, but I would like to congratulate all Afghanistan team, management, the people behind it. Uh, start believing on them themselves and then executing mm. their skills accordingly. Uh, really impressed as a as an ex-cricketer of Pakistan that watching someone uh, growing yeah. in the field of cricket very well and I'm sure and, and I'm, I, I have no doubt to say that in white ball cricket as we see in the progress of South as, uh, Afghanistan in the last 50 over World Cup mm -hmm. and also in this T20 World Cup they are the second best T20 format uh, white ball cricket mm -hmm. team in South Asia after India because they're proving them at the highest stage so they deserve to be enjoying that part obviously there's a lot of hunger there's a lot of commitment behind it um, as a team and they wanted to win as my Yunus Khan mentioned they wanted to win big names they wanted to give that statement and you know how much they given us happiness to the fans of Afghanistan I'm sure they all must be really proud of that uh, and they, they are in a very good position at the moment because sometime you know for the Australia I can only say that um, as you dig a hole for someone you might fall into it so at the moment I think they, the statement came out from Australia earlier in this tournament it must be haunting them at the moment because they can be out of this tournament because they were thinking the same way for England. Yeah. Now they fall themselves into that where they can be out of this tournament. 